my fellow chief in council. We have been here before to see our king, but we could not because we were told that the king had some health issues. And it looks like uh, Lolo is trying to hide from us this, the, the head status of our king. And so today we are here. We're here because we want someone to tell us the true position of the head status of our king. I don't know if I have spoken your mind. Yes, you are. Yes, you know. You have spoken our minds. We cannot be left with that call this. Sad. As members of the royal cabinet, you are supposed to know the king's health status. Definitely. Well, if that is the case, they have to let us know. They cannot hide it from us. I mean, we are all members of the royal cabinet. And as tradition demands, we are supposed to be aware of the health status of our king from time to time. In fact, not only are we to be notified about his health status, but to be allowed to see him with our two naked eyes. Yes. It is in the constitution. So, that means we must see him. Yes. So in that case, we must get someone to take us to him if he is in this palace. And if he's not here and he's in the hospital, I think we have to march to the hospital to see our dear king. Wow. Wow. And this time, we have to insist. Yes. Exactly. And our insistence will leave them with no choice than to allow us to see our king. Why is the Lord of the King so much better? I think I should get one of the guards to call her. Yes, yeah, please do. Please do. Yes. We need to do something about it. We need to do no. it. We need to do it. It's all right. God! Yes. Amen. Good day, Chief. Good day, how are you? Fine, thank you. Now, you want to the Queen's chamber. Tell her the real cabinet awaits her. Right away, Chief. Go there now. Okay, Chief. What is it? Do you want to break the door? Go and inform the Queen that I have a message to deliver to her. Quickly. Amadi, give me the message and let me go give it to her. Come, it's like something has gone wrong with your head. Do you think I came here to joke with you? I forgot to tell the queen that I am here to see her. It's a matter of urgency. Whatever. Is anyone in the palace? Oh, yes, they don't know who is inside with some palace chiefs, my prince. And my mom? She should be in her chambers. Okay, just wait for me. At All the right, I'll show my Oh. 
Your Highness, Highness, you're welcome. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, Your Highness. Please, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Eh? Okay. So, all right. Let me have a seat. <sighs> we uh, have something very important to discuss with you and uh, uh, Lola. Oh. Greetings, my chiefs. Your Majesty. Welcome, Thank you, Lord. Your Majesty. Welcome. Thank you. Um, we, the cabinet members of this kingdom, have come to know the true state of the head of our king. Is it all right? Because the last time we came here, we were not allowed to see him because they said he wasn't feeling good enough to see us. Today again, we are here to inquire of the head status of our king. Yes, the majesty and your highness. What the Onowo is saying is that it is traditionally our obligation as the members of the Royal Cabinet to always be concerned about the well-being of the Royal Family, most especially the Kings. We have been kept in the dark for days without seeing or knowing the status, the health status of our King. So we're here to ascertain the true status of our king's health. But, and not only that, we need to see the king with our own eyes. We need to know if our king is still alive. Jivo Kongo, what are you insinuating? Are you in any way saying the king is dead? And we, the real family, are trying to hide it from you people? Is that what you're sitting there saying? Uh, no, Your Majesty. So what are you saying? I am not insinuating anything. Uh, but uh, constitutionally, as members of the royal cabinet, we are supposed to see our king dead or alive. Um, my, my elders, please, there is no cause for alarm, okay? Let's all take a chew pill and try not to be up in the heel. The king is, of course, alive. We're not praying for any negative thing to happen to our beloved king. Okay, so he's much alive. You see, what happened the last time you came was that the king was not really feeling so well, like he was really intense, and the doctor advised that he shouldn't be disturbed. Even if it was hard for us to see him easily, Okay, so that was what happened. The doctor said no visitors, no nothing. He should have enough rest. That was it. Please, we are really sorry. If you're seeing it from the point that we're trying to hide anything, we weren't hiding anything. Please, we are sorry. Uh, Your Highness, you have really spoken wisely. Thank you. You are the true son of a lion the great king of this kingdom. Thank you. Um, but if we may further ask, how is he as we speak? Oh, of? yes. Um, he's much more better compared to the last time. So I can take you to his chambers to, to see him. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go see yeah. him. Now this is more like it. That is really good news. <laughs> of course. All right. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> hey. Uh, <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, Your Majesty. We are here to comfort you. Your Majesty, you or Cabinet members are here to comfort you. Thank you, my chiefs. Chief Okole. Chief Okongo. 
whoever we are with them to come and see me. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. May you live long, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, may our ancestors prolong the reign. It's a shame. Thank you, my chiefs, for coming to see me. Um, Your Majesty, don't just worry yourself. Nothing will happen to you. You still have work to do. The kingdom needs you. And don't forget you are a lion. You have fought and won so many battles. And in this, you will vanquish. Thank you, Lord. I can see myself being drawn nearer to my ancestors. The more. I see that my time to join them is near. Oh no, that is why I want to entrust my son. Yes, the heir to the throne, so that you will teach him the ways of the gods and our tradition. Yes. Uh, Your Majesty, nothing will happen to you. You will bounce back. Yes, you will bounce back. Remember, you're the lion. Oh, Father, you don't have to say that. Please stop saying that, please. I saw the ways of our gods are mysterious. My son, just prepare yourself for the worst. Yes, most importantly, prepare yourself for the tax. I, I love you because the leadership of this. I think, I think, I think we should um, leave him to have some rest. Oh yes, please. Thank you for let's, coming. Let's go. Just let's go. Let's go. Your greetings to yourself because there's nothing good about that greeting with your presence around here. Your Majesty, have I done something wrong? Very stupid to ask that. If you don't respect yourself now, ask the guard to throw you out of this palace. Are you mad? Am I your mate? Uh, it's me, Chiamaka. I, I don't know. Maybe you're a fool. I don't care what you are called, whether Chiamaka or Choma. Because you're called Chabaka, should I be jumping up or probably kill myself or lie down for you to, to step on me? Leave with your two wobbly legs. Gold digger. Just like your family. Get out! Get! Close the gates after her. Idiot. You're Chiamaka. Maybe I should kill myself because you're Chiamaka. Rubbish. Mom? Yes? I could swear I, I heard you talking to someone. And you want to know? Of course. I want, want to know. Your voice was really high. It was Chiamaka. You mean Chiamaka came here? No. I didn't mean she came here. I mean she flew into here. So what, what did you tell her? I asked her to leave. I've told you. Delete that girl from your memory. 
a married girl I have prepared and groomed for you. The earlier you delete her, the better for you and I. That girl is not your class. Mom, don't make me lose it. I'll be and, very honest with you. And if you do, what will you do to me? Will you hit me? No, will you beat me? Lose it! Mom. You're not going to not do that again. You know, where are you going? You tell her to like Come back you. here! Don't worry. I know what to do. Shamaka, my daughter. Since you came back from the palace, I've been observing you. You've been so moody. You've not taken anything. You've refused to eat anything. A few moments back, I saw you crying. What is the problem? Did you quarrel with the prince? Mama, I have never been embarrassed the way I was today. Who embarrassed you? And where? The Queen, Her Majesty. She kicked me out of the palace. Why? Did she know. tell you why she did that? I don't know, Mama. I tried asking her and she told me never to ask her such stupid question again. You know the worst part of it? She humiliated me in front of the guards and the maidens. Hey! What an embarrassment. Um, the prince, was he there when it happened and what did he say or do? He wasn't around. It's okay, my daughter. It will be fine. I believe the prince loves you and he must come for you. Mama, okay? I don't want anything to happen between the prince and I. I love him so much. I know the prince loves you as well. You have nothing to worry yourself about. Okay? Huh? It's okay. You don't have to apologize. It's not your fault. Please. I don't know why my mom treated you like that. Please, I'm deeply sorry. Please. The embarrassment was too much. I don't know what I did for the sudden hatred. That is exactly what I'll try to find out. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want anything to happen to us. If anything happens to our relationship, I am going to kill myself. No, don't say that. Nothing is going to happen to us. Nothing is going to happen to our relationship. Okay? It's okay. Sorry, okay? Sorry. Okay. Welcome, my friend. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. Um, let's go inside so I can offer you a cola. Oh, that, that would be nice, but um, I want us to go out, like somewhere cozy, to chill out. What do you think? Oh, really? Yeah. See how happy they are. They are just perfect together.
But what could have happened to warrant such actions from the Queen? Could it be as a result of what transpired between us many years ago? But that was many years now. And besides, it was not my fault. It was entirely her fault. God, don't let anything happen to my daughter's relationship with Prince Ahame fully. Why would she want to punish my innocent daughter for a sin she never committed? That is unfair. And I can't allow that to happen. I think I need to confront the Queen. Good afternoon, ma'am. Who are you here to see? Um, I came to see Her Majesty. Who are you? My name is Suju, Chiamaka's mother, the one that came back from abroad with uh, Prince Sahame Fulu. Oh, you are the mother of that beautiful young girl. Yes. Okay. You are welcome, ma. Um, is Her Majesty inside? Yes, Her Majesty is inside. Let me send someone to call her. Amadi! Yes. This woman here, she's here to see her majesty. You can take okay. her in, please. I hope there's no problem, madam. No, there is no problem. It's all right. You can come with me. She's inside. I believe Her Majesty is inside. Of course. Okay, kindly inform her that a woman is at the gate to see her. I will do just that. Okay. Good day, Your Majesty. Adobe, how are you? I'm fine, Your Majesty. Is there any problem? No, Your Majesty. There is a woman here to see you, Your Majesty. Which woman? Do you know her? No, Your Majesty. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Good afternoon, who are you? Your Majesty, don't tell me you are serious that you didn't recognize me. You don't know me, would you? Your childhood friend. Oh, excuse me, please. If you are truly Ujumwa, then you must be a very big fool. The fat one. Your Majesty, you just called me a fool. Why? Do you rather prefer I call you a coward? A fool is more dignified. If you were not a fool, you wouldn't have carried your two left legs into my palace. You want to carry? Are you mad? It's okay. You can call me anything you want. The reason I'm here is to tell you to allow our children to be. Don't let them be punished because of our past sins. What sin are you talking about? I ask you. I didn't commit anything that I can remember. But you committed a terrible sin against your best friend. Your Majesty, with all due respect, 
I did not commit any sin against you. It was a misunderstanding. Neither did I betray you. Misunderstanding, you said. Misunderstanding. You betrayed our friendship. And that I will not forgive you until I take my last breath. As for your daughter, wanting to marry my son, never. That will never happen. I will I tell her never to set her feet into my palace ever again. And as for you, expect a cold revenge. I must come with it. And it's better served. Hot, steaming hot. Your Majesty, do you mean to tell me that you want to compromise your son's happiness for a hatred born out of misunderstanding? Is that what you're telling me? Do I look as if I care? Get out. You have overstayed your welcome. Leave my presence now. Else, I will tell the guards to disgracefully throw you out of this palace. Back to the dungeon where you belong. It's okay, Your Majesty. It has not gotten to that. It's okay. I will go. But before I leave, I want to remind you of this that nothing will compromise love. Not it. Not even you. Not I. Did you just say love? If there's anyone that should talk about love, it shouldn't be you. It shouldn't be. Let me be the judge of that. Get lost. Thank you, Your Majesty. We're talking about hate, we're talking about love. Do you know love? Silly. Guards! Don't let that useless woman into this palace ever again! Has it been long since you came back? Yes, Mama. I came back a long time ago. I've been looking for you. Ah. Oh. Um, how was your meeting with the prince? It was fine. It was fun. We had so much fun. That's nice. That's nice. Mama, you, you're not alright. Uh, are you okay? Mm. Is oh. anything the matter? Mm. I'm okay. I'm fine. Mama, you're not fine. You're not alright. You're the best mom in the whole world. And I wouldn't want to be finding out that you're being perturbed or disturbed. Please. Um, thank you for that. Hmm? Thank you for that, my daughter. Have you eaten? No, I was waiting for you to come back. Oh, in that case, let me quickly go to the kitchen and prepare something for us to eat. Prepare what, mama? I already made food. Really? Yes. You really? This food is very delicious. Thank you, Mom. Honestly, I thought by now you will forget everything about home cooking. Why? When I learned it from the best mom in the whole world. 
<laughs> you know that you stayed a long time in America. Mom, just because I stayed in the US doesn't mean I have to forget how to cook. Mm. You know, over there we have a Nigerian market where they sell our uh, food stores. Really? Just that it's quite expensive. And I do cook over there in the States. Mm. That's nice. Good to know. <laughs> Hmm. I'm quite impressed. Mm. 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 I think you should restrain your movement from the palace. Why would you say that? Considering the way the Queen has been treating you lately, it's better you keep up for the meantime. Mama, I won't do that. Give me a reason why I should do that. Why do I have to stay away from the man that I love? I love the prince. I, I need to understand it. What's been going on? I mean, what the hell is going on with everybody? Why is everyone acting strange and nobody wants to tell me what I need to know? Why? Um, my daughter, I don't want you to feel that way. No one is saying you and the prince will no longer be lovers. No, we are not saying that. It's just that I want you to keep up. For the meantime, let me sort things out. You can then continue. Hmm? Mama. You better do that fast. Because I do not want to lose my man. Oh. You are not going to lose the prince. Don't you trust your mother again? Everything will be fine. Just small time. It's your food. I've lost appetite. I'm fine. I said everything will be sorted out. Careful, careful. Ah, uh -uh. go, 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 go. Where are you coming from since morning? It's none of your business. Watch your tongue. Adam, watch your tongue. I am not your mate. The last time I checked, I am still your mother and the queen of this great kingdom. So don't talk to me in that and manner. The last time I checked, I am still your son, the prince of this great kingdom. So you should accord me some respect. I know it's Chiamaka. You're talking to me ranting because of Chiamaka. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I will not regret my action. I am not remorseful in any way. Neither will I stop embarrassing that fool. Tell her to desist from coming to this palace. <laughs> Mom, I'm saying this again to you. Don't make me lose it. You won't like me. Do not do what you're going to regret tomorrow. I don't understand. Is it your life? It is my life. It is my life. And your Highness. Your Highness. What? The king. The king. What? what is wrong with you? What, what is wrong with the king? Why are you stuttering like that? The king. The king. What is wrong with the king? I can I can wait for me. Oh. What's wrong with him? Your Majesty. Yes, Doctor. Your Highness. Please. You have to brace up yourselves. What does that mean? 
place of ourselves. What are you talking about? Can, can you speak up? What, 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 what do you mean? Mm -hmm. His Majesty has joined his ancestor. Please, I'm sorry. You are How? His Majesty. No, that, that, that cannot be possible. I, I just spoke, I just spoke with him not quite long. Can you examine him again? Let's see what you're talking about. Your Highness, I, 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 I've tried it. Yeah. I'm sorry. My Lord. I'm sorry. Your father is dead. <laughs> and there is nothing we can do now. It's only the gods that have answers to the reason he left us now. <sighs> this is someone I spoke with this morning. There was no sign that he was going to leave us. There was no sign. Now it's no more. Is, is this how people die? Is, is, this, is this how people die? Your father's death was foreshadowed. I've always known him to be a fighter. But this time he couldn't defeat the sickness that killed him. We all have to be strong. It's time for us to be strong. Your father lived an accomplished life. His reign was peaceful and prosperous. The mantle of leadership has just been handed over to you. To be the father of all. All you need now is send words to who and the chiefs. Tell them we want to see them now. This is so painful. <laughs> so I'm going to see you again. Come here. Come see you again. It's okay. <laughs> Give me your hand. <laughs> to the Onowu's place and all the cabinet chiefs tell them they are needed at the palace right away. As your prince pleases. Yes, of course. So maybe it's coincidence. Uh -uh. <laughs> Did you say coincidence? Yes. I think it may be coincidence and it may not. So what is it? <laughs> I call it faith. Means we are destined for each other as friends. Wash our back, my friend. You don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. No problem. So, how is your mother? How is she doing? Don't even start. 
Okay. Why are you asking me of Mama again? You that promised to pay me a visit the last time I met with you on the road. Now you're here asking me again, nice Mama. Please, please. Forgive me. Forgive me, my dear friend. My esterification. <laughs> I'm Stop sorry. That. I'm so sorry. I know, yes. I didn't come. I didn't come to your house, I know. But I'm so, so sorry. Please, can you forgive me? Okay, fine. Let's make it a deal. I am going to come to your house in two days' time. Another that? promise again. Ah. Make another promise. This one is a promise, I know. In two days' time. In two days, I'll It's on be Thursday, here. remember? Yes, I know. Two days is on Thursday. On Thursday. I'll come on Thursday to see Mama. I believe you, my friend. How about that? I believe you <laughs> because we are friends, so we need to believe and trust each other. Where are you going to look in excited like this? this? Mm, okay. Guess. Yeah. Guess. You look so sharp. Guess. Hey. <laughs> you will kill them. Guess. 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 Okay, you're going to the palace. You have to go and see your bobo. The oh, please, please. Point of correction. Not my bobo, but I am going to see my own prince. My handsome. Please. Hey. <laughs> hmm. My friend. Yes, darling. What is it? Your friend. Let me advise you. Don't put your mind on the prince. Please. Esther, what's the meaning of that? What do you mean by that? So you've not heard. Heard what? Heard what? Why are you looking around? Heard what? The prince came in from America with a very beautiful. So you're not aware of that? Esther, what's the meaning of that? Please, I don't like this. I don't like it. Don't come with this, your gossip. I don't like it. What's the meaning of that? So you think I'm lying to you as my friend? Thank God you're going to the palace. When you go, you confirm things to yourself. Maybe when we see you on Thursday, you will tell me with your head or with your mouth. Good day, everyone. As cabinet members of this great kingdom, we all know why we're here. It is no longer news that our great king, of course, is one of the Biago kingdom. Join his ancestors yesterday. Mm. Of course, it's you are the liar. May the spirit of our forefathers accompany you to the great beyond. He said. And so we are here to discuss the better rights of this great man. And uh, according to the tradition, he is made to be laid to rest on the fourth market day from the day he took his last breath. Unu, you are very correct. Um, so that means we have four days left. Well, Unu, oh I must... Um... Thank you for coming, and of course, indeed, you're here. I am fully ready to give my father a befitting burial. So if you have the list, you can make it available for me so we can go ahead and, and plan. Because my father was a great man, of course, we all know that, and he must be given a befitting burial. Okosi Siwan of Obiago Kingdom must be given a befitting burial. Odogu, Odogu Mwa, you are indeed the true son of your father, Okosi Siwan of Obiago Kingdom. Your father deserves the best. The best, say that the best, and that he must have. So you can make the least of the 
Do we have it here? Um, Chief Okonkwo, you will make available the list of items needed for the burial rites. Yes, I will. I will do that this evening. I will bring you the list to the palace. Um, so, how did your meeting with the cabinet members go? Well, it went well. So, I mean, when is burial? Well, according to the tradition, the king's burial takes place on the fourth market, counting from the day the king took his last breath. Oh, so that's uh, four market days from today. Exactly. So what are the items? Oh, items needed? I think it's here, yeah. Mm. What? All this for the burial, or does this include your coronation? <laughs> no. Uh, the idea is to give my father a defeating talk of the town burial. <laughs> but I mean, this is too much. Look at this. That's not too much for my father. I mean, how much does all of this cost? You know, the, the idea is to give my father a befitting talk of the town burial. Oh, well, if you say so, but for me, I feel it's too much. I mean, Come on, it's not too much. What needs to be done? How are you, my child? I'm not. I'm okay. I'm fine, Your Majesty. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you so much. So, how have you been taking it? Bad. Husband is dead and gone forever. It's a huge blow, a huge loss. But I'm happy he accomplished his mission on this earth. As we speak now, he's with his ancestors. You're right, my queen. So, what of the prince? How is he taking it? It's not easy on the prince. But he's managing. He's coping well. The prince is in a long meeting with the royal cabinet members. I believe he should be done by now. Right now, he should be in his chambers. You want to go in there and check on him? Uh, no, 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 my queen. Don't worry. I know he's been busy preparing for the burial. Don't worry, I'll come see him some other time. Oh my goodness. See why I cherish you so much. You're so much old and very understanding. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, my queen, for the compliments. Please be fine, okay? I'll try. I know. It's not easy to lose a husband. Be fine for me, okay? <laughs> So, what can I do for you? Um, sorry, I just want to talk to you, get to know you better. Listen, I don't have time for all this. As you can see, I'm going to somewhere. Please, just let me be. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm sorry, I won't waste your time. Five minutes, I promise. 
Ok. Okay. But let your five minutes be five minutes. It's a promise. Five minutes. So, what is it you want to talk to me about? Your beauty. Your, you're so beautiful. Your beauty is captivating. I don't mind. I, I want to know you. You're from this village? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, my name is Jerry. I'm, I'm, I'm from the next village. Whenever I'm, I'm around, I'm always frequent here. Today, I came to see a friend. He's from the village too. Please, can I know your name? My name is Neka. Wow, what a beautiful name. Just like you. You're beautiful. Can I go now? Uh, it's okay, but please, can I have your contact? Mr. Man, that is not necessary. It's not necessary. If you say so. Okay, you can come and let me drop you. I don't mind anything you do, I'll drop you. Still not necessary, please, I, I, I'm leaving. Where are you going? 